typical of the fighting that followed was that near Tilly, to the west of Caen. The road into Tilly is a road of devastation. It's lined at intervals with soldiers' graves, each grave with a rough wooden cross at its head, sometimes a cross just hastily made from two sticks cut from a hedge and nailed together. The farmhouses, the cottages, almost every building along the road, they're either gutted out or smashed up by shell fire. Every yard of this road was shouting at you that it had been fought for bitterly. The Sherwood Rangers Yeomanry again found themselves fighting the Panzer Lair. The CO's tank had received a direct hit from a heavy shell, which had instantly killed Major Laycock, who'd been acting colonel since Anderson had been wounded on D-Day. The colonel had just been killed. We, don't forget, we lost three colonels in five days in the Sherwood Rangers. So the next one down was Stanley Christopherson. And then my father, you know, assumed command of the regiment. And, uh, and this was probably after four days of, you know, really very stiff fighting. Three senior officers killed and one officer and one sergeant wounded by the same shell. This was indeed a shattering blow. Christopherson's son has returned to the small Norman hilltop his father held with the Sherwood Rangers for most of that June. I can really imagine what it must have been like, James. Um, and it, in a funny way, brings a slight lump to my throat. You can just imagine how exposed you are when you're sitting on a hill in your tank. 0.103, I think, was possibly one of the, you know, the most sort of unpleasant experiences, and certainly uh, from Dad's rec recollection of it, that, uh, that they went through in almost all the war in. We felt rather naked and lonely on this high ground without infantry protection. Being the senior squadron leader, I took control of the regiment, feeling utterly dejected and shocked. Christofferson, Sherwood Rangers Yeomanry. I came to Normandy with Dad. I have vivid recollections of, um, you know, our time here. And I also then do remember going to visit the, um, the cemetery. You know, my father, who was always, always rather good fun, suddenly became, you know, rather sort of reserved and very silent. You know, my father really didn't, like so many, but talk about, uh, um, you know, his experiences, I think, which was very typical of that generation. And it was only in really later life where you know, having read his diaries, did I really understand what had gone on. John Hanson Lawson, B Squadron commander, tried to stalk a German tank, which appeared to be dead. However, a Mark IV shooting from the flank brewed him up. John and Sergeant Crooks were both wounded. Sergeant Crooks was in a bad condition, but when I spoke to him, he smiled and told me that he suffered no pain. He died very shortly afterwards. Christofferson, Sherwood Rangers Yeomanry. This is where they all were, you know? I know, 70 years ago, almost to the day. Almost? I mean, it is almost to the day, isn't it? There's a lot of talk about heroes today, and I've no doubt, I suppose, in some people's eyes, they are heroes. But, I mean, we didn't have any heroes in the Sherwood Rangers. I might tell you that if you said to Stanley Christofferson or any of those people, do you know what? I think I did rather do well today. I mean, uh, we got a tank and uh, we took 30 prisoners. I mean, that was jolly good, wasn't it? You know, you wouldn't half come in for a ticking off. The Sherwood Rangers could have never maintained action at this furious pace without the Allies' massive operational support. Each day, they were replacing killed and wounded men, as well as damaged tanks, in a manner that was impossible for the Germans. There were three regiments in the brigade, and each regiment had 50 tanks, so there were 150 tanks. Well, to keep 150 tanks going, they had to supply us with 1,073 new ones. 1,073 to keep 150 going. I mean, I came out of three. I didn't lose the last one, but I came out of three tanks. 
and that was nothing. Don't forget, Stanley Christopherson in the desert came out of five tanks in one day.